It's mail time! Listen, guys. Uh, I get excited. I get excited sometimes about mail. Packages in the mail. I like my packages. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like, like my, my packages from, from Tackle Warehouse. I like my packages from Tackle Companies. You know, fishing stuff. That's the kind of packages I like. Don't make it weird. Now, before we do this, let's roll that beautiful intro. You know, the one that it's always been. Let's just roll it. Hopefully, we can change up some footage here pretty soon. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, my gosh! It's a whale! Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's... Mail time. Now, I took a little poll. I asked you guys, who wants to see Tackle Warehouse unboxing? It's just going to be a quick one. It's going to be a short one. This one right here, but back to the poll. Sorry. Back to the poll. A lot of people said yes. So if you guys like this, I will continue to do this. I'm going to have to find a way to fund my Tackle Warehouse addiction. Um, I'm not afraid to admit I'm addicted. I have a problem. Tackle Warehouse is my addiction. I just can't seem to stop buying baits. Baits that I may not even use, but they just jump out at me and fishing companies catch me when I can't even catch the fish because I'm Oklahoma's worst angler and I'm addicted to tackle. So anyways, all right, this this shipment right here was very specific, and I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping tomorrow pans out, okay? Because I bought all these baits specifically for fishing tomorrow. Tomorrow, I am going down to Sooner Lake, and it's a power plant lake. This will be my first time fishing a power plant lake. We're not going to be on a boat. We're going to be on the banks. Again, I'm really hoping that the video after this turns out good and that these baits worked for me. If not, I'll just have them to use later during the year, right? So we're going tomorrow. We're going to be beating, beating the banks. We're going to be fishing below the discharge. I've seen a lot of fish coming out of there. I've seen a lot of hybrids. I've seen a lot of stripers. I've seen big largemouth as well. So tomorrow, multi-species, that's the goal. That's what we want to do. Someone in one of my videos talked about me slapping the table and how many times I smashed my hands on the table. It just happens. Sorry, dude, if you're still here. If you're not, then see ya. Back to the unboxing. All right, first things first. I have got the Boy Ducket 5-inch BD Shad. I'm going to pull it out of the package here for you guys. I'm going to pull it out of the package because I want to show you this, and I want to talk about this. If you've been looking to get into swim bait fishing, and you don't want to spend your child's next Christmas present money on a swim bait, or you don't want your significant other, or you don't want your significant other to leave you because you have spent hundred dollars on one swim bait. Let me introduce you to the Boy Ducket Five Inch BD Shad. These do come in a uh, a larger size, and I can't remember for sure, but I'm telling you right now, as of this video. They are on sale on Tackle Warehouse, not sponsored. I'm not paid by Tackle Warehouse. That'd be awesome, though. But they're on sale right now for $8.99. That is nine doll hairs for a swim bait, a jointed hard swim bait. This color is blue shad, right? Blue shad, don't make me dumb. Slow sink blue shad. This is it right here. For the small price of nine doll hairs, which these are not doll hairs. I don't know what kind of hairs these are, but soft bristle tail on there. One thing I was very unaware of, okay, first off, I mean, it's kind of like a bull shad. It's a much cheaper bull shad, much cheaper, like 30 doll hairs cheaper. But I did not know, you see this hook, how it's just hanging there like that? There is a magnet. There's a magnet on this that holds the hook there. There's a freaking magnet! <laughs> I'm really excited about this. So rear treble hangs down, but this front treble is actually designed to sit flush. You picking that up, camera? Sure hope you are. Look at that. 
That is, that's freaking awesome. Because we know swim baits, hooks dangling down there, they get snagged up, the nose is heavy like that, but that just right there, that's going to help keep a lot of the grass out. It's going to help, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Negate. That's a good word. It's going to help negate a lot of the snags. So I got blue shad in this guy right here. Don't worry, there's more. I did get another one. Don't show. Can't show the people. We cannot show the people what the surprises are. The second color I got was bass, baby, bass, slow sink, marshmallow. God, jeez. It's like they're child proof. I'm not a child. Not a child friendly channel. Large mouth. Bass color. Look at, I mean, that's some pretty dadgum good detail. For nine doll hairs, I will take that all day. Look at that; some of the hairs are falling out. What do you, what do you, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? They're nine dollars, okay? Nine bucks, nine bucks for a bull shad look-alike. We're not saying knockoffs. We're not saying rip-offs because we triggered the internet last time we did that video. <laughs> not doing that again. So I got two of those. I got the shad because I know that there's shad down there and that's where they, what they, what they, what they, what they, what the main forage is. So that's why I got that. But we all know, at least most of us know, I want to say we all, but I shouldn't assume. We know bass eat bass. Fish eat fish. Okay? So I wanted to get another one just in case. Oh, in case one gets snagged and I lose it, which I hope not. But I wanted to get two. I want to change it up. Next things that I got. X-Zone Mega Swammer. I love that name, Swammer. Sounds like Swimmer and Slammer together. The Swimmer Slammer. This is the five and a half inch. Cool, I don't even know what five and a half inch looks like. Tennessee Shad Mega Swammer. Nice, big old paddle tail on this guy right here. Look at the coloration on these. Look at that. X-Zone, X-Zone, I mean, I like their plastics. They make really good stuff. My buddy, Jeremy, fishing the Lone Star, he's had really good luck throwing the smaller ones on an A-Rig. Um, I wanted the big ones. I've got some big jig heads, and I've got, uh, I've got those Picasso naked chatter baits that I want to slap these on as well. But I'm probably going to throw this on a jig head by itself. Really good, durable feeling body. I just, I mean, I wanted to give them a shot, so I got two packs. I got two packs, same color, the X-Zone 5.5 inch Mega Swammer. Let's move on to the next one. Guys, I say so a lot. I'm like so, and guys, and so, and guys. I'm sorry. It's just, when you've been talking for so long, so many years, I was talking when I came out the womb. It's just things that you just say and you just can't not say. So that's just how it's going to be. Two packs of the X-Zone 5.5 inch Mega Swammer. Mega Swammer. Oh, can't forget these guys right here. 10 aught Owner Beast Hook. Weighted, weighted Beast Hook. See that, Big John? I got some Owner Hooks. I got some Owner Hooks. Now, why did I get these? Not for the Swammers, no sir. Actually, for something that I got in the mail from a viewer. I think I told you guys about it in the uh, live stream one of my live streams. This is the 316 Lure Company Rising Sun. These guys right here, five inch, they need the 10 aught owner beast hook. Screw lock right there. That's what it's gonna go in. It's gonna go on that guy right there. Now I've got some bigger ones. These guys that need a 12 aught, but I didn't wanna throw a 12 aught. I didn't wanna throw these just yet because I don't know that I have the proper tackle to be throwing something that freaking heavy. <sighs> but it's okay. We're just going to wait it out. We're going to wait it out. So, 10 aught, half ounce, screw lock, owner, beast hook. Got that as well. Going with the 316 Company, Rising Sun. These things, I've been throwing, I've been throwing one of these, the, uh, the line through top hook lately, and it is a beast. Not, not, no pun intended for the hook. All right, next thing. Oh, we got Tackle Warehouse sticker. I'm going to throw that in someone's giveaway. We're doing giveaways coming up. I'm doing giveaways. 
I'm not going to say what I'm going to be giving away, but I'm doing some giveaways. But I'm not going to tell you what I'm giving away, but I'm going to be giving away some stuff, and i got to figure out how to do it. But I'm not telling you what I'm going to give away. I will not tell you that. But I'm going to be doing some giveaways. Next, we've got... Oh, yeah, I, got, I forgot I got these uh, Dobbins quarter-ounce jig heads right here. Little Dobbins heavy hook quarter-ounce baby bass. These guys, because I got some other swim baits that I want to throw these on, probably be throwing these either tomorrow or just later in the year. But I needed some new swim bait heads, especially when I go down and uh, fish below the dam, below Gibson Dam. <sighs> sand bass. Sand bass, white bass, sandies, whatever you want to call them. Last things that we got here, the Gary Yamamoto 4-inch Zacco. Now... The Zacco in particular. I can't remember who it was that had been throwing this, but someone's been throwing them on their chatter baits and just loving it and loving the action on them. This is the other reason that I got these. Little 4-inch Zacco right here. I believe this is the uh, Electric Shad. This is the Electric Shad. Electric Shad 4-inch Zacco. That is going to go on those chatter baits as well. So tomorrow, I'm rolling pretty light. I'm going to take probably three rods and keep the tackle bag pretty light. Um, mainly because it's going to be snowing and balls cold. So I just want to be prepared. So I got the electric shad in the Zacco for some chatterbait action. I haven't thrown a chatterbait in months. Months. I haven't thrown a chatterbait in months. The last one that I got here, and this one is going to be money below the dam. I know for a fact because those sand bass down there kill some pearl some white, some sparkle, these guys right here. This is what? The sight flash. Not the pearl, but it's the sight flash. It's got some glitter in there. These things are just slick. They're a little pricey. They got a little kick there on the tail. A little extra kick on the tail. They're a little pricey. I don't know that I would really recommend these. They feel pretty soft. I, I don't know about the durability on them. Those, these right here feel a lot more durable. And yeah, they're bigger, but a lot more durable than these guys. But great action to them. I've seen them in action. I've seen them work. I'm pretty pumped. That's it. Guys, that's it. It was a quick unboxing. I told you I wasn't going to talk your ear off, and I didn't talk your ear off, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you want to see some more Tackle Warehouse unboxings, especially if you want to see some giveaways, giveaways coming up. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to be giving away, but I'm going to be doing some giveaways coming up because I want to give back. You guys have been helping me out a lot, and I want to give back to the community. So, Oh, and by the way, someone said I look like I'm 5'7 in a video. 5'7? Bro, give me a break. Give me a little bit of credit here. I'm like 5'7 and a half. Big old meanie. Hey. You guys know what it is. I appreciate you. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll see you next time we're on the water, which will be tomorrow. And hopefully we're catching fish. Check this video out. Check this video out. Check these videos out. I don't know. I don't know what's up there. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up, too, if you want to help me out. I'd appreciate the thumbs up. I'm done. That's it. I'm out. I'm out. See you. See you on the water.